I just got back from an anime convention uh, over the weekend. Now, if you saw a recent episode of This Week in Nerf, then you know I filmed at an anime convention and uh, tried to make that work. So thank you for bearing with me on that one. But um, I really wanted to go to this convention for a few reasons, but uh, it did take me away from working on videos and filming and editing really for about five days, which is significant, but I felt it was important to uh, surround myself with people that were having fun and, and uh, be in crowds of tens of thousands of people and just navigate things and, and get acclimated to it to kind of build up to my trip uh, to end war in June. Getting myself past some of the anxieties of, of feeling tired and being out of it and things like that. So uh, there was that aspect, but one of the big aspects was I wanted to film. I wanted to film from the uh, convention because so often in the past I've seen really cool cosmetic mods done for nerf uh, blasters for cosplay reasons. And so I thought, why don't I do a video on that? I'll go to a convention and I'll do a video focusing on the cool stuff that I saw. Unfortunately, I didn't see much in terms of cool cosmetic nerf mods at this convention this year, which was... I mean, it seemed fitting, of course, because now that I plan to do something around it, I didn't see much of anything. So that that whole idea kind of went down, but it happens, you know, such is life. Uh, at least it was a good experience, and um, I'm going to try and keep this uh, motivation for doing things that get me tired and sore and work my muscles and things um, going today with something a little bit different. So before we get to that, this, this episode's probably going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge. I'm not certain yet. Um, I've got some footage from the last BTA event I might try and work into this. I, we're just going to film. We're going to see what happens. So if there's a little bit of a lacking continuity, um, my apologies, but we're, we're trying to work through this. The other, oh, one more update. The camera. I'm shooting on my DSLR right now. The camera that I normally shoot on was sent out for repairs. Hopefully they've received it. I haven't heard anything back from them. Hopefully it comes back in working fantastic functional condition uh, soon. Fingers crossed. But like I said, uh, let's go ahead and jump to potentially what we are up to today. All right, we're here. We are at the batting cages. This is something that I have not done in a long time and I miss it. Baseball is my favorite, favorite sport. And... Um, just been itching to swing the bat and have some fun and uh, I figure this kind of ties into the idea of finding uh, maybe non-traditional ways to get your exercise in if you aren't feeling uh, quite motivated to go for a run or go to the gym or the stuff that you normally have sometimes it's okay to mix it up go find something that's fun go rock climbing go uh, you know swing a bat go play soccer go go do something that maybe you haven't done in a while that you miss that's fun that's also active so just find those ways to kind of mix it up and keep yourself interested and engaged so i'm gonna go uh swing this bat a lot let's talk about this not the blaster but what's inside the blaster and that's the v 3.8 select fire kit now we've done a video on this already but uh well like i said in the video on it i don't think i would use it in a competitive setting well <clears throat> i did i did just that i brought it out because i was curious it, it, were my thoughts on it correct and unfortunately they were um, I cannot recommend this in any sort of situation where you need something that is 100% as reliable as possible. In a single six minute game, I had it uh, stall out on me two times, not stall out, but fail to fire. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show some footage in a bit here, you'll see what I mean. But I, I will say the delay between trigger pull and firing was not as bad as I initially thought. Uh, it was not an impedance. It didn't prevent me from being able to put shots on target. So that's a plus at least. If you can get it to a point where you feel it's reliable, maybe you can make it work. But for me, it just it just wasn't reliable enough. So that's that's my kind of a update on the Select Fire Kit. Now again, the V6 is out and I haven't tried that one. Maybe that one's better, but 
for now, I'm going to stick with pretty much just semi-auto blasters. I am going to pop up some footage from the last BTA event where I did sub for a team and actually get some time on the field and get to play as opposed to just filming and watching and running and things, but uh, check the footage out. I'm going to leave you with some other stuff from there as well, so go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this blaster, the gameplay footage, and everything else. You got three in the back. Scott is on your right over here. Katrina moving in. They have middle. Michael running up on you. Watch your left! She's not in yet, she's not in yet! Got your pouch! You alright? I'm out, I'm out! Watch behind, watch behind! I didn't see. Watch behind you if not. Yeah, yeah. You've got Katrina there, Scott behind you. Body, 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 body. Chest, chest. Jessica back, Katrina there, move in. Move in, only one back. Adriana on the left. She's in. In the back. We have been. Scott's in, moving middle. On my left. He's going far. Adrian is in. Adrian is coming on your left. Aaron, your left. How's it going, buddy? Scott's moving on you. Good shot, good shot. Scott's pushing. Side, side, side. Hello. Scott's in. Blaster.
About 15 seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Put the timer! So, as you saw and, well, heard, this did not perform the way I wanted it to in the setting I feared it would not perform well in. Uh, and really, one of the times that it failed to fire was incredibly inopportune when uh, Foam Blast Adriano was actually moving towards the middle point to take control of it and I could not put shots on her because the blaster decided to do whatever it is that was, that sound, that's just not pleasant, that sound, there is no good that comes of that sound. Uh, that sound tells everyone in earshot that your blaster is not functioning properly and you are no longer a threat or you are an easy tag out. So, I can't, I, ju I just, I can't, I can't. That has to go away. I kind of wish I could actually just remove that kit completely and not have a big hole in the side of the blaster where I put that thumb switch. But, that's why we test things. We learn. Um, as for the rest of the games in general, I wasn't too happy with my performance. Um, I had some tags here and there, some decent stuff, but really I didn't feel like I was playing all too well, so... You know, I have to step it up for the next time, but uh, uh, something about that blaster, I just didn't feel comfortable with it on the field. I didn't feel like my shots were, were well placed. Um, yeah, it just wasn't a great day for games for me, even though we did go two and one, uh, so that wasn't too bad, but uh, I can always do better. I think that's my, my personal mindset is can always, always perform better. So looking forward to the next time I actually get to play because it was an insane amount of fun actually getting to play and, and compete as opposed to just running things. So that was awesome. Um, that said, I've got projects to work on and you know, this to work on and uh, this to finish reviewing and we, we got stuff to do. And one last thing before we head out, uh, it has been a little bit since I filmed the first portion of this video and I have since heard from the repair company that my camera has been received by the, the insurance or protection policy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they received it. They have parts to fix it. They are now attempting to fix it. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I want that camera back because it makes filming so much easier. But that said, hopefully as we get our camera back and get back into the flow of things, these videos won't be quite as hodgepodge. But until then, I'll see you next time. All right, so we are ending up for the day. I'm gonna say thank you to everyone that stuck around to help clean up because I didn't do anything. <laughs> I stood around yeah. and talked and uh, yeah, had fun with this guy. But thank you all for coming. Thank you all for being a part of this. Uh, seriously, without all of you helping, this does not happen. Um, it is an immense amount of fun. I look forward to what we can continue to turn this into.